What do you got, Warren? 14-year-old male, blunt abdominal trauma and a penetrating injury in his upper thigh. Bleeding from a scalp lack. I pulled him and his brother out of a house fire. Chemistry experiment gone wrong. Did I kill my little brother? Please. It's gonna be okay, right? Mom's gonna be so mad. Bloods are clear, bodies are stable, saturating 95 with the mask. He's becoming in and out of consciousness. I was just trying to teach him chemistry. He needs to tell my mom that he wasn't doing anything wrong. Yeah, I got him. Trauma one? Yeah, no, Captain, are you and Gray? You need to meet the other rig. His younger brother got thrown by the blast. He was bleeding out from the abdomen, and, well, one of our teams, she just dug her hand in there. A 10-year-old male with a penetrating... Why is your hand inside? Because he was bleeding a lot. Take it out of him. You look 12. Can you find a grown-up to tell me that? Do not move your hand. See that? Grown-ups. Nobody moves. Can you feel a pulse? Yeah. What do you think she got in her hand, Schmidt? Uh, his abdominal aorta. Yep. Don't take your hand out. What's your name? Herrera. Andy Herrera. Okay, Herrera, we gotta get him up to the OR, and I'm sure you're very clear about this, but you cannot move your hand. Can you hold pressure while we bring the gurney down? Uh, my hand, arm, and shoulder are already numb, but I'm going with yes. Okay, careful, everybody. If she moves her hand even just a little bit, he's dead in seconds. Got it. Keep a healthy distance. Bump and turn, I'll kill you. Also, got it. Slow and steady. Careful, careful. Uh, that's my phone. Figured. Really? Helm, ever heard of vibrate? It's for you, Dr. Gray? Yeah, I can't take it right now. She said, I know what I said. Just deal with it. Hello? Uh, Dr. Gray's unavailable. Can you... Halfway there. I do not sound happy. I mean, it's in another language, but a very angry deal with it, Hellmouth. Hellmouth? Oh, she's a rookie, huh? Yeah. Oh. We're good. We're good. His pulse feels weak. Can we move faster? I'm not killing a kid today. Okay, I'm gonna run ahead and clear a path. Come on. Oh, my God, my God. Come on. If you could just jump up there. Now can we go? Now we can go. Careful around this corner. So, what was that phone call about? I could use a distraction, take my mind off the fact that I can't feel my arm anymore and I'm one fingertip away from this kid dying. Oh, there's this medical innovation contest. And uh, my project is, picture you have a fire hose that isn't working, right? Okay. Except my fire hose is a liver. Okay, so my idea is I want to replace it with a sprinkler system. Except my sprinkler system is many livers all throughout the body. Sounds like science fiction. Because it kind of is. So I need a polymer. And there's this old guy in Madrid who has the patent. All right, we're turning him around. Uh, okay, so why didn't you take his phone call? Because Kepner is heading up the contest and I don't want her to know that I don't have the patent. So you're kind of screwed? Yep, kind of. Ease him on in. Slow. Color up a little bumpy here. Here you go. Easy. Easy. What are you doing here? Uh, the kid's brother's freaking out, and I, I just want to see if you needed my help. Okay, sure. I need your help. Great. What can I do? Get your ass back to the station where it belongs. I just want to make sure that these kids get through this okay. Except your job is to get to the station so you can answer other calls for other people who need you to make sure that they're okay. Okay. Easy. Rookies, huh? Oh, yeah. 